Welcome, Welcome to reception. reception. This half term, we'll be looking at numbers up to 20 and beyond 20. We'll also be looking at numbers up to 100 and using 100 square. We'll be looking at 2D and 3D shapes and we'll be writing simple addition equations such as 2 plus 3. 2 plus 3. Put them all into the bowl. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 5. If you have any questions or need to know anything, please speak to your teachers. Every morning the children come in and they change their book and they sit down and they read their buddy. It's very important that your child changes their book every night and make sure that they read with you every night. If your child is on pink or red, then they should point to every word. But if they're on any other colour, then they can just point to the word when they don't know it. They can use strategies like sounding out the word, using the picture, reading on, and then going back to read the word that they're stuck on. Ensuring as well that you ask them lots of questions and make sure that they're understanding what they're reading. In their yellow book, they've also got some tricky words. And these tricky words like where and was and then, they're words that they don't sound out and they just need to learn. So they can write them at home, spell them to you, and make sure that when they're reading, that they just read those words. Also, we have been looking at lots of different sounds. Sounds, for example, like O, which is O-A, or A, like A-I. And these sounds have got two letters, but they only make one sound. And then you've got other sounds like I, I-G-H, or ear, E-A-R, which have three letters, but they only make one sound as well. It's important that your children recognise these sounds and use them when they're reading and when they're writing. So that's all from me. If you've any questions, please come to and talk to myself or any of the teachers in reception. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi. Our topic this term is about farms. The children are learning about different types of farm animals and the difference between wild animals. And very soon, our children are going to go to their first trip to Marsh Farm for hands-on experience. It would be a really good idea if you can talk to your child at home about what they saw, why we have animals, how we look after them, and what they eat. If you've got any other questions, please do come and see us. I'm here to talk about homework. All the reception teachers are really pleased about all the hard work that both parents and children put into their homework. I'd just like to go through some ideas with you which you could do with your child. For example, the first set is just to, to, to go over the sounds, which you probably know, but they can colour them in. So if they know them, they can colour them in. So for example, this is A. I know that's A, so I'm going to colour it in. Or I could tick it. Then when you have learned, when, you, when they're ready, they can put them into words. So I know that's A, so I'm going to say, whoa, I can see it there. That says page. And then you can colour it in because the child knows page. When, they've, when we, they've, you've done these with the diagraphs in the middle, you can look at the high frequency words. Some of them are, very, some of them are tricky, can't be sounded, sounded out. But once you know them, once the child knows them, they can colour them in. So B, colour it in. And also, once they've done that, they could put them into some words, uh, sentences. And, for example, um, paid, I paid for my toy in the shop. And they could try and write it. When you finish, there's always something exciting on the back, like this activity with numbers and counting, and all about talking to your child about the farm. So it's all about the current things that we're doing in class. If you do find that you've lost your yellow book, please come and see us. We'll, we'll search, set you up with a new one. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please do come and see us. And for now, bye. Bye. bye.